network with uh, old friends and colleagues, meet new friends and future colleagues, um, and use this as a collaborative opportunity. So while the scientific content is wonderful, always, it is that personal interactive component that I would recommend um, folks thinking about ISBD really consider um, as a definite asset. If you are a medical student or a young um, person interested in the sciences, you can uh, become a member or follow the work or follow the webinars, uh, get engaged and, uh, and network. If you are a young researcher, you should start doing research and think of coming to the conferences and presenting and that's an opportunity to meet other researchers across the globe. If you're an expert in bipolar disorder, I would hope you're already a member, but if you're not, I think it is the place where experts want to be to network with other experts. I don't know of another conference that welcomes patients and family members in the way we do and provides the kind of programming that is specific to their needs in the way that we do. This is a fantastic meeting for, for hearing about research but also for hearing about the clinical application of, of the research and for having the opportunity to talk and really understand how do we reconnect the research with the people that we are trying to help. There is no other organization worldwide as committed and as effective and efficient as ISBD.